God bless everyone. Welcome everyone, everyone online this day. I bless the Lord for your life. I welcome you once again. Today is a very, very, very special service. I thank God for joining me. The Lord will bless you greatly. All ALCC members out there, I love you. The Lord bless you. Everyone watching online, everyone, anytime you come, I bless the Lord for your life. I bless the Lord for your life. I love everyone. God bless the GO, the general overseer of the entire harvest. The Lord bless you, sir. God bless whoever you are, male, female, young, matured out there. Today is a special, special service. It is Thanksgiving service. Join me to appreciate God. Expect miracles to be happening in your life. Listen, this is the pattern of God. When people appreciate God, when people are grateful, there is a connection in the heavens. Heavens will open upon you. Blessings will be flowing. The Holy Spirit said to me, appreciation and thanksgiving are conduits for manifestations of God's blessings, for manifestation and miracles, signs and wonders. I say that again. Appreciation and thanksgiving are conduits for manifestations of God's blessings, miracles, signs and wonders. The Lord said, tell my children to expect miracles, signs and wonders. Expect blessings as we are thanking God, as we are appreciating God. It's a total thanksgiving service. So join me as we are appreciating God. God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be honored. We're going to start. It's the last Saturday of the year. Aren't you glad? Aren't you blessed that the Lord has brought us to the last Saturday of the year? Our eyes that have seen this day, we will see the last Monday, the last Tuesday, and the last day of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus. The year has been something. It has been a challenging year, pandemic or no pandemic, but the Lord accepts you. The Lord accepts me. Listen, join me this day to appreciate, to celebrate, to salute our God, our Father, for who he is. Psalm 106 verse 1. He says, praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Why? For he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. We are going to pray and I will want us to start the prayers today with Psalm 3 verse 3. I love it. He said, but you, O oh Lord, you are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. You, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts my head. Can you say, the Lord is my shield, the Lord is my glory, the Lord is the lifter of my head. Listen, let us pray. I thank you. Say this with me. I thank you, O oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. We have come to thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for your goodness. I hope you are praying. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love, O oh Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for your long sufferings. Begin to fill in the gap. Thank you, mighty Jehovah, for your power. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. Lord, you have been so good to me. Lord, you have been so kind. Lord, you have been so merciful. And I thank you, mighty Jehovah. Lord God, my Father. Lord God, my helper. I give you praise. I give you glory. Lord God, my healer. Lord God, my forgiver. I thank you. I appreciate you. In Jesus' name we pray. We are thanking God for your own own personal life. Right now, the next prayer, you are going to focus and thank God for your life. We are going to use two people in the scriptures. David in Psalms 3, he wrote this psalm during a major crisis in his life. He had a serious family problem from his own son. His own son, Absalom, attacked him. That a mighty man, David, a warrior, he had to flee. He left his throne. He left his throne and he ran for his dear life. He left his throne because of a major challenge. He said, oh Lord, how my enemies have increased. I'm reading Psalm 3. Many are rising up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help. But you, oh Lord, you are a shield for me. You are my glory. I'm the lifter of my head. He said, I cried out to you and you answered. I lay down, I slept. And I awoke because you woke me up. This and the psalm is very loaded. We're going to quickly just uh, take some nuggets from it and to pray. David said his enemies increase. Maybe you're, you're, you don't have family problem. 
Maybe you don't have any enemy problem, but there were issues in your life this year, and the Lord helped you. Maybe you have issues like David, family problems, enemy problems. The Lord accepts you and is helping you. We're going to thank him for it. When you had no help, God helped you. David said, I cried out to the Lord, and the Lord answered me. We're going to appreciate God. We're going to thank God for all these things, that the family problem or no family problem, the Lord helped us. We cried out to God in difficulties. The Lord helped us. And David thanked God for the daily blessings. He said, I slept, I woke. That is, every time I slept, Lord, every time I woke up, you were the one who sustained me. You sustained me in my sleep. You sustained me during the day. We are going to pray, say, I thank you, oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. Thank you for being my help. You sent help when there was no help. I cried out to you, my father, in trouble. They say, I called on to you. You sustained me. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Lord, you delivered me. In the valley of the shadow of death. I was in the valley of shadow of death. The Lord delivered me. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. Begin to thank God for your own life. Begin to thank God. Begin to appreciate him for whatever difficulties. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. Many times again this year, you helped me. I was in the valley of the shadow of death of corona. I was in the valley of shadow of death of attacks from the enemy. I was in the valley of the shadow of death filling the gap. And the Lord delivered you. I thank you, O oh Lord, my God my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head for the daily blessings. Begin to thank God for the daily blessings in your life. David said, I slept, I woke up. God sustained me. Begin to thank God. I, in my sleep, you sustained me. Lord God, during Lord God, during the day, you have sustained me. Father, Lord God, I give you praise for it. From January 1, 2020 today, look at how many sleeping times, look at how many times the days Lord, in the year that you have been going around, the Lord has been your sustainers. Father, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory for daily provisions. Thank you, Lord God, for food to eat. Thank you for clothes to wear. Thank you for bed to lay my head. Father, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to, to pray. We're going to use Daniel. Remember I said we're going to uh, you, uh, you know, use the examples of two people. Daniel chapter 2, verse 23. I love it. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. Listen to this. For you have given me wisdom and power. Even now, you have made known to me what we requested of you. Daniel thanked and appreciated God for the gift God has given to him, for the skills God has given to him. He said, you have given me wisdom, you have given me power. We're going to pray, we're going to thank God for the skills, for the talent, for the gift, for your gentleness, for kindness. Look at your life, the gift you have. Sometimes we are quick to look at what we don't have, but I want you to thank God. Look at your life this day, wherever you are. I don't know what the enemy maybe has been lying to you, but the Lord has gifted you. He has packaged you with talent. He has packaged you with gifts. He has packaged you with treasures. Some of you are bold. Some are gentle. Some are kind. Some are just naturally nice. Do not take the talent and the gift you have for granted. We are going to appreciate and thank God for what the Lord has gifted us with. And then number three, we will thank God for even now prayers. I will explain that later. But let's start to thank God for our gift, for our talent, for the gentleness, for the good things in your life. The Lord has packaged it. There is none without gift. Say, I thank you, O Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. Thank you, Lord God, Heavenly King, for the gift you have given to me. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you for my life. Thank you for the uncountable things, Daddy, that you have given me. I thank you for my families. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for ALCC families. I thank you for the skills. I thank you for the strength that you have given me. I thank you, mighty Jehovah. Begin to look at your life, your gentleness, your kindness, your niceness. Thank God for it. Father, Lord God, Heavenly King, for the daily strength you give me. Father, in your word, the strength you give me, Father, to cook, to clean, to do the activities of my daily living. I thank you, my Father, for the strength that you have given me to study, to pray, to fast. Don't take those things for granted. Begin to appreciate God. Lord, I thank you, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. I thank you for the talent. I thank you for the skills. I thank you, Lord God, for the known gift and the yet to be revealed gift. Father, Lord God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you all the honor. Thank God for where you are. Thank God for where God is taking you. Come on, the future is bright. The future is glorious. Begin to thank God and appreciate God for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Daniel said, it is not just what God has given him. This is what I call even now prayers. I cannot count the even now prayers. Daniel said, even now. 
That is, even right now we ask you for something, whatever God has just answered, even now prayers for those, for the, for the many people that, that people, they got diagnosed with many ailments and we prayed God healed them. That's even now prayers. Even now prayers for the tests that came back, those whose tests came back positive and then we prayed and God answered. God healed them, turned it around. Even now, prayers. Daniel said, even now, <laughs> we asked you for the solution to the king's problem, and you answered us, you gave us solution. Even now, prayers. The things you just recently prayed, and the Lord answered. Even now, you have answered us. Say, I thank you, we are praying. I thank you, O oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. Thank you for the even now prayers, for the current issues at hand. Begin to thank God for the even now prayers. Lord, I thank you for the sisters and brothers whose test for cancer came back negative. Father, Lord God, we give you praise. Thank you for those even now they are pregnant. Even now, they are, Lord God, heavenly king, those who gave back. Even now, they passed their exams. Even now, begin to thank God for the even now prayers. Even now, they traveled and you, Lord God, help them. They are home safe. Even now, they are healed. Father, we thank you, mighty Jehovah, for those that you have even healed. Even now, for those that are engaged, we pray, Lord God, for it. Even now, they are engaged. Even now, they peace in that home where there, there used to be chaos, where there used to be confusion. Even now they have peace. Even now, mighty Jehovah, I am healed. Even now I am bold. Where you used to be timid, you prayed and the Lord answered you. Even now you are bold. Even now you are healed. Even now you are moving forward. Father, I thank you, mighty Jehovah, for the even now, Lord God, heavenly King answers, Lord God, in my life. Father, I give you praise for it. I give you glory for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, don't don't ever forget the evil now prayers. Do not allow what you don't have make you forget what you do have. Do not allow the prayers that are yet to be answered make you forget the evil now prayers that have been answered. Hallelujah. We're going to thank God for other family members. Remember, we just thank God for our own lives. We are going to thank God for our family members. We are going to thank God for our friends. The same prayers that we use in thanking God for ourselves, we are going to use it. We are going to flip it to thank God for our families and for our friends. Say, I thank you, O oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory. Don't forget, as we are thanking God, those who is just thanksgiving service. No, it's just not just thanksgiving. They are blessings that God himself is releasing as we are thanking him. These are the best prayers. These prayers are powerful. These prayers are potent. Because God delights. It's just the right thing for us to come back to say, Lord, we thank you. Throughout the year, you have been merciful. Throughout the years, you have kept us. Throughout the years, you have protected us. Throughout the years, you have provided for us. Look at the, the, the angels of death swept through the, 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 the state where I live, where I'm living. But the Lord kept you. I don't know where you are. The Lord accepts us. And it is just right for us to thank him. Say, oh, Lord, I thank you. My God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. Thank you for my families. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for ASCC families. Thank you for all, Lord God, heavenly King Christians all over the world. Thank you for the many troubles you saw for them. Thank you for the many times they cried out. Remember, David said, I cried out, you answered. We cried out, the Lord answered. Let's thank God for our families, for our friends. They were in trouble, different troubles. They called upon God. We called on their behalf. We called upon the Lord on the behalf of our family members. And the Lord heard us. Let's thank King, Father, we thank you for the many things. Lord God, heavenly King, many times they cried out to you, and we also cried out, and you answered. I thank you, O oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. Thank you for the daily blessings, Lord God, in the lives of my family members. Thank you for the daily blessings in the lives of my family. Lord God, heavenly King, and my friends, they slept, they woke. Lord God, you sustained them. You have been their sustainer day and night. You have been the sustainer, Lord God, of my my husband, the sustainer of my children. Father, Lord God, we give you praise. We give you glory. Father, Lord God, we've gone out many times. We've gone to so many places. My friends and families all over the world. Father, you have been our sustainer. You have been our helper. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Hallelujah. We're going to say thank God for their evil now prayer. Say, I ah, thank you, oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. Father, we thank you. Begin to thank God for the talent. Begin to thank God for the gift. Remember, Daniel said, you have given me wisdom and power. Everyone has talent. Everyone has gift. For that child you have been complaining about, begin to thank God for that child. For that spouse you have been complaining about, there are so many good things in your spouse. You just have not been focusing on those things. Begin to thank God for his talent. Begin to thank God for our gift. Begin to thank God for the skills. Begin to thank God for the good things in them. Father, Lord God, the lift of our heads. Lord God, we thank you for the talent, the gift, Lord God, heavenly king, in the lives of our family members, in our friends. Thank you, Lord God, for their even now prayers. Lord God, even now they have found jobs. Even now they are, you have protected them. Even now you have resolved the issues. I don't know the things in your families and the lives of your friends that you help them to pray. Even now that baby is healed. Even now there's unity in the family of my friend that I prayed for. Even now, mighty Jehovah, Father, we give you praise. Even now they have found jobs. Even now they have bought a house. Even now they have peace. Father, Lord God, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to thank God for the unsearchable things, uncountable things that the Lord, that he does daily. You know, sometimes, you know, I just converse with God. You know, I'll say, wow, God, you, you're doing a great uncountable work all over the world. Can you just look at yourself alone? Then multiply that by the billions and billions of people all over the world. And God is not just taking care of Christians. He's taking care of everybody. Raining his reigns on the just and the unjust. You are going to help me to appreciate God. He's a great father. We are going to thank him for the unsearchable things, uncountable things that God does all over the world. Psalms 40 verse 5. Many, O oh Lord my God, are the wonderful works which you have done. Do you agree with the psalmist? Many, oh Lord, my God, are the wonderful works which you have done. He said they will be, there are too many to count. We are going to thank God for the works he does daily. Psalms 145, 15 to 18. He said the eyes of all look to you and you give them food in due time. The eyes of all. Animals and people, our eyes look to him and he answers us. We are going to cry unto the Lord. I love the chapters. Please, can you find time to read it before the end of the year? Job, Job chapter 38, chapter 38 to 41. The Lord came out. He spoke, I don't mean physically, he spoke to Job. He said, where were you, Job, when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you know. If you have understanding, and the Lord began to ask Job, who do you think Job is feeding the lions? Who do you think is feeding their children? Job, tell me, are you the one hunting for the lion? Are you the one feeding the young raven when their young cry out to God? Wow, even the young ravens, they cry out to God. And he provides food for them. What a mighty God we serve. Providing for the animals, providing for everybody. So read Job 38, 41. He said, do you know where I store the, the snow? Do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know these things that I do provide food for the snakes in the, in the forest? God, listen, God does mighty work. No wonder if God is taking care of animals, how much more we that he has made in his image and likeness. We are going to thank God for the unsearchable things, uncountable things, the billions of people God is catering to, answering your own prayers, answering the prayers of everyone, the busyness of the angels. No wonder Matthew 6, 30. He said, do not worry about these things. He said, God who provides for the birds that are here today, grass that are here today, gone tomorrow, how much more you that he has made in his image. He said, why, why, why do you worry about these things? He said, don't worry about these things because he will provide them for you. Hallelujah. So we're going to thank God for, the, for everything he's doing. You will join me please to thank God for the orphans. All over the world, my heart bleeds every day for orphans. We're going to thank God for the orphans. We're going to thank God for the elderly, the helpless, the hopeless, the homeless. Say, oh Lord, my God. 
I thank you, oh Lord, my God, my shield, my glory, the lifter of my head. I thank you for the orphans worldwide. Thank you for provisions. Thank you for the helpless elderly, oh Lord, that you are helping, Lord God, worldwide. Thank you for the hopeless, those, Lord God, heavenly king with no hope all over the world that you are helping. Thank you for raising, Lord God, heavenly king, raining your reign upon the just and the unjust. Thank you for those who are money. Please join me to pray. There are people that have lost loved ones. Let's thank God for comforting them. Let's thank God for helping them. Thank you for the Christians, Lord God, even those who have lost loved ones. Thank you for helping them. Thank you for comforting them. Father, we thank you because you will strengthen them. You will uphold them. Their faith will not win. Their faith will not fail them. By the authority in the name of Jesus, they will keep serving you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for those who don't even know you. Those who blaspheme, they blaspheme you daily, yet you provide for them. They blaspheme you daily, yet you help them. Father, we appreciate you. Lord, we all know you. We thank you, mighty Jehovah. Lord God, heavenly king, for anyone, Lord God, all over the world, sorrowing, Lord God, heavenly king, mourning right now. Thank you for comforting them. Thank you, Lord Jehovah, for what is still to come. Great things, especially those that you will see saved. We thank you in advance in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, these are awesome prayers. Thank you. And I'm feeling the presence of God. I see God releasing blessings upon you. I see heaven's opening upon Upon some people, even as we are praying, I'm hearing from the Lord. Some people are getting healed right now. That stomach ulcer is being healed right now. That stomach issue, I don't know what the issue is, but I'm hearing from God. The healing power of God is flowing through this link into your body right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm hearing turn around. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for your grace that is flowing. I thank you, Lord God, for the turn around. Concerning that court case, there's a turn around. Concerning that exam, there's a turn around. I thank you, Lord God, for divine intervention, even as we are praying right now, in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for the amazing things God will do. We are going to thank God by faith. Romans 4.20. This was, this is, this is my daily prayers. Many a times my prayers are filled with, Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you. This was what Abraham did, Romans 4.20. But he did not doubt or waver in unbelief. He gave glory to God. Abraham kept giving glory to God. He had version says he grew stronger in faith just praising God he kept praising God even without the answers to the prayers even before the arrival of the manifestation of what I'm believing you for I'm going to thank you for it anyway that is thanking God by faith we're going to thank God in anticipation believing by faith the things God will do say I thank you oh Lord my God my shield my glory the lifter of my head I thank you mighty Jehovah ever faithful God for those Lord God, heavenly king, that you will stay safe, that those who will still come to know you, I am thanking you for the amazing things, Father, that you will still do in my life, for my families, begin to thank God. Begin to thank God, begin to thank God for wherever you are. Begin to thank God for unity in your family. Whatever is not working now, instead of saying, Lord, please give me, just say, Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you for that baby. Those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb, begin to thank God for your twins. Begin to thank God for the triplets. Begin to thank God for what you are expecting. Begin to thank God for your healing. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for my healing. I thank you for my health. I thank you for open doors. Begin to thank God for open doors. Begin to thank God for the doors. God will close my daddy. I thank you, Lord God, for the doors you have closed. You have closed doors against death. All those, Lord God, heavenly can always come to attack. I thank you for closing doors. Lord God, evil doors. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for the doors, the great doors that you will open. I thank you, mighty Jehovah, for the enemies that you have swept away with the wave of your hand. Father, I thank you, mighty Jehovah, for the pleasant surprises. I thank you, mighty God, for the remaining five days. Five days remaining in December. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God and begin to declare and declare that five days of glory. Father, I thank you. Five glorious days of breakthrough. Lord God, remaining in December, I thank you for these five glorious days. They are days of pleasure. I thank you for the five glorious days of celebrations. Five glorious days of good report. Five glorious days of pleasant surprises. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise for it. Lord, we give you glory. Begin to thank God for it. Five glorious days. Five glorious days remaining in December. Father, we thank you. We shall see the end of the last day and beyond. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God has released blessings. 
and I'm going to be making pronouncements of blessings. There are so many blessings. Anytime you give God appreciation and you are grateful, blessings bring, I mean, thanksgiving brings many blessings. When you give thanks, expect many blessings, uncountable blessings. Number one blessing that you are going to receive by faith is the blessing of multiplication. Whatever is good in your life, but is very little, will be multiplied. Jesus fed 4,000 people, Mark 8 says, and he fed 5,000 people, John 6, 11. Every time he had that situation, the food was so little. But instead of Jesus complaining of what he, he, he did not have, he thanked God for what he had. This is a very good example for us. Instead of you grumbling, instead of you complaining, thank God for that thing which you, you, you want to, which your flesh wants you to complain about. Thank God for the little. Little will become much. Little will be multiplied. The grace is coming upon you. Grace of multiplication is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to receive yours with a big amen wherever you are because you have come to pray. The grace of multiplication rests upon you, rest upon your family, rest upon your business. Whatever is good but is little will multiply in the name of Jesus. You will have more and more. There shall be leftovers by the authority in the name of Jesus. There shall be overflow. There shall be abundance. Whatever is good in your life, maybe the money is little. There shall be multiplication by the authority in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open doors for you, doors of opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus. Multiple streams of income by the authority in the name of Jesus. Blessings of elevation, not just multiplication because you have come to pray receive. Blessings of elevation. The Lord will elevate you. The Lord will elevate your family. The Lord will elevate your, of your business. The Lord will elevate you in your career. By the authority in the name of Jesus, whatever you need for your elevation, the Lord will provide in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, because you came to pray after the order of Jonah 2, 9. Jonah cried out unto the Lord. He was in the valley, in the belly of the fish, and the Lord elevated him. Thanksgiving brings elevation. When you give thanks to God, when you are grateful to God, he brings elevation to your life. He brings multiplication to your life. As you have given thanks, as you came to pray, as you join me in thanking God, in the name of Jesus, grace of elevation is being released upon you. After the order of Jonah 2, 9, receive it in the name of Jesus. As the Lord commanded the fish to vomit Jonah, whatever you have that has stuck, whatever you are, or wherever you have been stuck in the journey of your life, receive divine release, receive divine release, receive divine release. May God release you right now. May God elevate you, release and release. The Lord will release your loved ones, He will release them, He will elevate them. The Lord will release you, He will elevate you. The Lord will release you, He will elevate your business, your career in the name of Jesus, my second devotion from the pit and the difficulties of life, in the name of Jesus, whatever good thing belonging to you that has been delayed, that has been covered, that has been lost, yet to be released, in the name of Jesus, there shall be speedy release, amen, there shall be speedy release, there shall be speedy release, blessings upon blessings, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you it's a different service. It's a different service. Sometimes God can come. He can come and just turn things around. Hallelujah. You are, you are elevated. You are elevated. Wherever you have been stuck, as that fish was commanded to release and vomit Jonah, you are released right now. You are elevated right now. Where you are stuck in your finances, receive elevation in the name of Jesus. Number three, blessings of resurrection. Because you have come tonight because you have joined me in appreciating God for who he is, in thanking God for what God has done for you, in thanking God for even now prayers for yourself and your, for your family members because you have joined me in praying for orphans, in praying for the hopeless, the helpless, and the difficult things of the world. God is releasing upon you the blessings of resurrection. In John eleven forty one. 41, Jesus got to the throne, to the tomb of Lazarus. And instead of him complaining, he looked unto the Lord and he thanked God. And because he thanked the Lord, the good thing that was dead 
came alive. Listen, sometimes some good things, they can be stolen or they can be swallowed. But sometimes good things may even be dead. I don't know what it is. Maybe dead love. The love is dead in that relationship. There is no, the, the nothing is working anymore. It may be a marriage. It may be your health. It may be a, a destiny. Whatever good thing that is dead. Like Lazarus was dead because you came to pray. The grace of thanksgiving is working for you right now. There shall be resurrection. There shall be a lifting up. That life will come upon that good thing that is dead. Whatever is good in your life. Whatever is good in your family. Whatever is good in your business that is dead. Life of God. Zoe, life of God. It comes upon it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the life of God. That health receives the life of God. I command Satan to lose his grip because you came to pray. Let your health receive the life of God. Receive Zoe, life of God in the name of Jesus. No going back and forth up and down in your health. No going back and forth in your finances. Receive resurrection grace. Receive resurrection in your career. Receive resurrection for your destiny. That destiny that has been covered. That destiny that seems dead. Let the power of God come upon it. Let the life of God come upon it. I command let your destiny arise by the authority in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing in my spirit five more days in December. God said there are too evil, too many. Too many days. Too many. God doesn't need five days to, pro, to bring the blessings. Don't give up on the year. The year is not over. Receive your blessing by faith. Receive that blessing by faith. You can say receive your green card. God will still visit you this, this, in, the, in this five days in the name of Jesus. This very night by the authority in the name of Jesus. The Lord that has served. God is visiting a couple. You will carry your baby. The Lord is visiting you this night in the name of Jesus. My sick and shanda. Healing is taking place. Miracles are happening. This last week Saturday while we were praying I was in pain. As I was praying the power of God hit me. The pain disappeared and it has disappeared forever since that last Saturday. I pray anyone in pain. Anyone in pain. Pain in your body. Emotional pain. Let the healing power of God let it flow through this link right now into your life into your bodies into your homes in the name of Jesus I pronounce and I decree and I declare that home that I see darkness I see heaviness in your home that is why you are having nightmares and negative dreams and the enemy is attacking you this day in the name of Jesus let the blood of Jesus flush out every machinery of darkness flush out everything that is not of God by the authority in the name of Jesus your house is clean your house is delivered. Your bed is delivered. The atmosphere in that house is delivered. In the name of Jesus, there's a turning, there's a changing for the atmosphere. In the mighty name of Jesus, from now on, no nightmares. That darkness is lifted. That heaviness is lifted. In the name of Jesus, I'm hearing chain. Every chain holding anyone down, it breaks right now. It breaks by the power of God. It breaks by the power of God. The chain that is holding your, the brain of your child and is causing him to misbehave. Let that chain break right now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, so must it be. The seal of the Almighty God is upon us in Jesus' name. We pray because you came to pray. Another blessing that the Lord has released upon you and is releasing upon you is the blessing of satisfaction, settlement, and wholeness. Bless, number one is blessing of multiplication. Number two, blessing of elevation. Number three is the blessing. Do you know it? Blessing of resurrection. Anything good that will come alive, receives the power and the Zoe life of God. Number four, blessings of satis satisfaction and settlement and wholeness will come upon you. Ten lepers were healed. One went back. He just did not go back to say oh, thank you. Go and read it very well. He was he was so he was he, he, he was melodramatic about it. Won't you? The Lord has helped us. The Lord has delivered us, and we have thanked Him, and we continue to thank Him. It must be a lifestyle for you to thank God every day, to thank God for everything continuously. I'm always thanking God, Father. I just thank you. Sometimes God will say, "But why are you thanking me, Lord? I just thank you for everything. I just thank you for everything." Luke 17. 19. Jesus 
said to him, get up and go. Your faith and confidence has restored you. They has restored you to health. For coming to pray, may God make you whole. Your case will not be so-so. You know, you ask some people, are you doing? They say so-so. Some finish so-so. Some say finish so-so. You will finish well. You will finish well. Receive wholeness of health, wholeness in your finances, wholeness in your family. Nothing missing, nothing broken in your body. Listen, it is possible to live a life of nothing missing, nothing broken in your health. Jesus already paid for our wholeness. He already paid for our health. He already paid for us to be healed. He does, he does, he's not saying that sickness may not come, but stand in faith. Use the power of God and the power of thanksgiving is so powerful because you have come to pray, receive wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken in your, in your body, nothing missing, nothing broken in your life, nothing missing, nothing broken. As that leper was settled, God settled him, God satisfied him, he satisfied him, he had wholeness, God will settle you, your career will not be up and down, your health will not be up and down, God will settle you, he will settle your destiny, he will settle your children, say amen, he will settle the issue, there's an issue in your heart that is so deep in your heart, the Lord settles this right now, in the name of Jesus, and whatever God settles, it is permanent, none will disturb you, in the mighty name of Jesus, none will make you afraid, you will go in and out, none will make you afraid, you will sleep back and forth, God, none will make you afraid, in the name of Jesus, number five, Blessings of double, 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 total restoration. Job chapter 42, verse 10. The Bible says, and God gave Job double. God gave him double, double. As you, you have partaken of this Thanksgiving service, I pray all the blessings of Thanksgiving upon you. Your years will be long in the land of the living. Say amen. You will enjoy a full ripe age. You will enjoy fullness of power, fullness of authority. Your years will be filled with pleasure. Say amen. The years of your children will be filled with pleasure. The years of your family members will be filled with pleasure. No pain. God will fill your mouth with laughter. Your tongue with song. By the authority in the name of Jesus for participating in this service, may God cause you to draw closer to him as the girdle clings to the body of the wearer. The Lord will cause you to cling to him. The Lord will cause your children to cling to him. The Lord will cause your household, your family members to cling to him. In the name of Jesus, there will be no back and forth, up and down with God. We will all cling to the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will enjoy peace all around for coming to pray tonight. Five more days of glory. Five more, five more days of pleasure. Five more days of pleasant surprises. Five more days of Holy Ghost party. You will be throwing party as you are receiving good news. In these five days, I decree and declare peace all around you in every area. No anxiety, say amen. No sickness, no worries, no emergencies, no problems. In the name of Jesus, receive your double-double blessings. Receive your triple-triple blessings. Receive uncountable and overflow blessings. In in the name of Jesus, so shall it be, so must it be. The seal of the Almighty God is upon it. I need you wherever you are, sing a good song to the Lord. Sing a good appreciation, thanksgiving song to the Lord. Hallelujah, begin to sing it to the Lord. I need you, let's seal it with a, with a song, a song of thanksgiving to the Lord. Song, can, I am grateful, oh Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. You can thank God for your families. We thank you, mighty Jehovah. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen. I just want to thank God again. Thank you, for, first of all, for coming to join me to pray. I want to thank God for this platform. Remember, we, we didn't have this platform on the, on the link. It all started during the pandemic. So what the enemy meant for evil, the Lord has turned around. In your life, in my life, there are so many things that despite this pandemic, the Lord brought good out of evil. The Lord brought good. So I thank God 
for this platform. I give him praise for it. I give him glory for it. To him be all the glory. I want to also thank God for my general overseer. I'm telling you, just talk of a nice man. When somebody is just naturally nice, with, before the Holy Ghost. Now with the Holy Ghost, you can tell that I'm a spoiled wife. I, I'm just enjoying my life, man. And I give glory to God also for his life. Always giving me the opportunity, you know, to come. I take time to, to just seek the face of the Lord. Maybe the time I should be spending with him and the family. I want to appreciate you, man of God. I thank you for always releasing me, giving me wings to fly for being a great teacher, a great man of God, a great husband, a great father, a good pastor. If I didn't marry you, I would still have wanted you to be my pastor. I want you also to thank, I'm saying all this appreciation because it's the last Saturday of the year. Next time you see me, next Saturday by God's grace, it shall be 2021. We will all be alive celebrating God on this link. Say amen. I also want to thank you for your own life, especially those who have been here every time. Joining me, you believing upon the, uh, uh, the grace of God upon my life. That grace will remove every disgrace in your life and you are going places. May the Lord bless you. Can you help me thank my three sons? Please, anytime you see them, especially those who are in ALCC, please write something online tonight for them. My three sons, Dr. Ayo, Mr. Manis, and Bishop Philip. They've been, really, they've been helping. They always put this together every Saturday. It's a lot that go on behind the scenes. I want to appreciate God for the three of you. The Lord's hands is mighty upon you, and it will take you to great places, greater places in Jesus' name. Help me celebrate my daughters. They too, they've been wonderful. Everybody, they always cleared your place. Everything will cease just for us, you know, to pray. And then they join us. And the things they do, even before the prayer time, the Lord bless all of you. Thank you all, you know, for joining me every time. I thank God also for one of my daughters out there, Pressy, always making me to look beautiful, always fixing my hair. I love you. The Lord bless you. I love all of you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord, I'm looking forward. It's going to be next five days of glory. Expect great things to be happening. Tomorrow, two services, don't miss it. It will be glorious. I'll be looking forward to it. I will not forget to mention this. Listen, we are having starting tomorrow, I believe, uh, days of refreshing. Five days of uh, days of refreshing, starting from tomorrow. But guess what? Ladies of ALCC and all ladies watching me, you can join us. It's very optional, but you can join us. In fruit fasting, every year we always uh, embark on fruit fasting. That is, when we fast, we don't break with regular food. We break with fruits. You can eat any kind of fruit that you want. That means on Monday, you're going to fast, you break with fruit. On Tuesday, you fast, you break with fruit. On Wednesday, you fast and you break with fruits. Amen. Sometimes in the past, we have broken the second day, third day, we, we will eat regular food. This year, on third day, I want us to break with fruit. If you stay up till after 12 on Wednesday, you can start eating regular food. So, ladies, join me in fruit fasting again. You can get uh, the Geo's book on fasting. Go on your own pace, at your own levels, based upon your own strength, not mandatory is very optional but even if you cannot fast as we see God's face join along with prayers join the days of refreshing God has great things for all of us the Lord bless you the Lord keep you looking forward to seeing those who will be on site tomorrow I'll be at the two services and looking forward I miss all of you those who have not been in the building due to one reason or the other we pray for you we miss you we love you stay connected Stay committed to God and to the vision. God bless you. I love you, love you, love you. Shalom.